So are you thinking about moving to Glendale, Arizona? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be taking you to this amazing, unique community, lakeside community called Arrowhead Lakes, and it's located right here in northern Glendale. I'm going to be taking you to three different homes in three different price points so you can see what might fit your budget. And if this is your first time to the channel, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so that you can be the first to learn about anything new happening out here in Arizona. So Arrowhead Lakes was first developed and built in the late 1980s. And it has since become a really established and highly sought after community to live in. And approximately 75% of the 1,025 home sites are lakefront homes like this one here that we're at. And this is our home number one. So I'll take you through that. And there are currently six homes for sale in here, ranging in price from 665 all the way up to a million one. And the average sales price year to date is about 830,000. So let's walk through this home number one. This one is on a lake and I'll show you all about what this home has to offer. So here we are at home number one. This home is 775,000. This is a four bedroom, two bath. It's 2247 square feet. It was built by Lennar in 1995 and it's on 6,700 square feet of a lot size, has a three car garage as you can see. It has a fireplace, electric appliances, and it was remodeled in 2018. AC, brand new, 2020. Let's go inside and take a look. Okay, so if you do have a boat and you have your own dock, boating and fishing is allowed for residents only and you can ca uh, kayak, paddleboard, it's electric boats only and there's about 132 acres of lake in here. So like I said before, about 75% of the homes are on lakes and so that makes it really relaxing and enjoyable to look at. Okay, so as we head over home number two, I wanted to talk to you about the golf course. This home number two sits on the golf course and it's called the Legend at Arrowhead. And this is a par 72 Arnold Palmer designed golf course. And it has a huge practice facility, which you're looking at right now, uh, with putting and chipping greens, a practice bunker. And it also has a beautiful clubhouse with a lakeside grill with awesome views. And they also have a 3,600 square foot shaded outdoor event space um, overlooking the 18th hole. And this, is a public course currently, but there are plans to make it totally private. Let's head over to home number two. All right, here we are at house number two. This home is 850,000. It's four bedrooms, three and a half baths, 3584 square feet. It was built in 1995, three car garage, as you can see. It's actually a two story home and it has a walkout basement. It's on the golf course, like I said, and it's got a pool, spa, fireplace, and has water views, electric appliances, and the HOAs for this home are 171.50.
as we head over to home number three, I wanted to talk to you about this community and what it backs up to and kind of some of the amenities that are here. So this community backs up to the Thunderbird Conservation Park and we are at one of the trailheads here called the Coach Whip. This park is 1185 acre park in the Hedgepeth Hills and it's a conservation park that's dedicated to preserving the desert environment here. So there's lots of hiking and walking trails and even horseback riding can be done here. Okay, so here we are at house number three. And before I talk to you about house number three, I wanted to tell you about the school system that we're in. We are in the Deer Valley Unified School System, uh, school district. Uh, Legend Springs Elementary School is just outside of Arrowhead Lakes community. Uh, also, there is Sierra Verde, it's a STEM Academy. It's located just outside of this Arrowhead Lakes in Arrowhead Ranch, which this neighborhood is a part of. and. There is also Hillcrest Middle School and Mountain Ridge High School. So here we are at our third stop. This house is listed at a million one seventy. It's eight bedrooms, five baths. It's 4,048 square feet. Lennar built it in 1995. Lot size is 8,242. It has a three car garage, fireplace, electric appliances. It's also lakefront. You have your own boat, dark, boat dock. You have a pool and a spa, and the HOAs here are 230 a quarter. Okay, so as we wrap up today, I wanted to kind of talk to you also about where this is located in terms of your shopping and your restaurants. Obviously gorgeous with all of these lakes and parks uh, around the community, but you also are super close to Arrowhead Ranch Center. It's a shopping mall with a Fry's grocery store, sushi, Rubio's, gas station, O'Reilly Auto Parts. You've got Dylan Casey barbecue, hot yoga, you name it. It's super close here. Two miles to a Home Depot, a, pet, uh, a Petco, Discount Tire, Sprouts, Walgreens, all of that is just two miles away from here. You are less than six miles from Arrowhead Town Center, which is a popular regional shopping mall with you know, your big uh, stores, like your typical mall. There's also a Mayo Clinic for family medicine right inside of Arrowhead Ranch, which this neighborhood is a part of. You are 28 miles to Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport seven miles to the Peoria Sports Complex, which is where there's also tons of restaurants, spring training for the Padres and Mariners. You've got Westgate, State Farm Stadium, home of the Arizona Cardinals is there, as well as hockey. So that's all 15 miles away. You're minutes from the uh, highway or the freeway 101, which loops you to the I-10 and the I-17. You're two hours to Flagstaff, an hour and a half to Prescott, and it's an hour and 40 to Sedona to get to those higher elevations. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Michelle Seymour, and I am an Arizona realtor that covers the area west of Phoenix, also known as the West Valley. And I get phone calls from people just like you every day that are thinking about making the move here to Arizona. So if that's you and you're thinking about moving in the next day, week, or even month from now, please make sure to reach out and text phone call or email and I'd be more than happy to help. And if this is your first time visiting the channel, please make sure to subscribe and click the bell for uh, notifications so you can be the first to learn about anything new that's happening here in Arizona. And if this community did not check all those boxes for you and there's another community that you would like for me to cover, please leave a comment below and I will go and try to shoot that community for you. Thanks so much for joining me today here in Arizona Lakes.